Hello guys, my name is Misha Blackman and welcome back to my channel where we talk about loving Jesus, building wealth and living life. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about hair. Firstly, because I love getting my hair done and I love changing up my look. But secondly, because I know that most of my ladies will agree that hair can be really expensive, especially when you love quality and especially when you're into extensions and wigs and things like that. I always like to use top quality like human hair. And since I'm currently on a journey of building wealth and budgeting and saving money, when, when we talk about building wealth, we need to talk about saving money. And when we talk about saving money, we need to talk about looking at our expenses. So hair for a lot of us ladies is a big expense. So recently I decided I want to get my hair done, but I don't want to break the bank doing it. So I decided that I'm going to look into synthetic hair. Now, what you see me wearing right now is synthetic hair. And in this video, I'm going to give you all the details about this hair and how I maintain it and refresh it to keep it looking good for at least a decent amount of time. So this hair that you see is called Ultra Batik Duo Bundle Hair and it's in the Peruvian curl. So I'll put a picture up of the packaging right over here for you to see. This comes in a pack with four bundles. So um, I believe it was a 16 inch two 18 inch and the 20 inch. So I was tempted on buying just the one pack because one pack was $29.99 Canadian dollars. And I decided that not being too sure how thin it would be, like how much hair would just be in that one pack, I decided to go with two packs. So what you see here is two packs. So four, eight bundles in total. I think um, I have one bundle left over. So I didn't end up using the two packs completely. But I'm definitely glad I got two because one would have been much too thin. I kind of like a little bit of volume with my curls. Um, so that ended up being $60 for two packs of hair, which is so much cheaper than what I would normally spend, especially if I was going to get 20 inch human hair. It would have been ridiculously expensive. So that's how much the hair costs. I do still have to pay my hairdresser to do my hairstyle. So that is at an additional cost. It looks beautiful when it comes straight out of the package and um, it lasts that way for maybe two days. After that, if you don't maintain it and refresh it, like how I'm going to show you, it will clump up, get extremely tangled, dry and matted. So in order for the, to avoid that, I'm gonna show you right now what I do every single day. Okay guys, so this is how I refresh these curls. The first thing I do is I split the hair into two sections, like so. And then I will just gently start to finger comb each section of hair. So what I'm doing here is just I'm trying to separate the curls a bit because as they settle down they just end up clinging to one another and kind of matting together. So to help me do this I will spray the hair with water. This is just water in a spray bottle. Um, adding as much moisture as possible to this hair is really important because it gets dry and the drier it gets the more it clings together. So I'm just spraying the hair everywhere, kind of trying to saturate it as much as I can. And then I will proceed to finger comb and you can see my fingers are getting through the hair a little bit easier. So I use a wide tooth comb to gently comb through the curls while they are a little bit wet. I hold the hair at the root so that I'm not pulling and tugging too much on my scalp because this really will irritate your scalp and also cause breakage. So you want to be holding onto the hair at the root um, to avoid that tension and just gently comb through the curls to further loosen them up. Okay, so another thing to note about this hair is that it sheds a lot. So you are going to see this hair everywhere. Unfortunately, it's just something that comes with this synthetic hair. Every time you put your fingers through it and you refresh it like this, it will be coming out. So I am using Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I just put a little bit of this on my fingertips. And while the hair is still wet, I will run this through the hair. And it helps to add shine, um, softness, back to the hair, moisture, 
and um, it just it does bring the curls back a little bit even though they are synthetic it does still activate them a little so I love using this and I'll try and I don't put too much of it but I do put um, a decent a decent amount maybe every other day So here we have the left side looking refreshed. The curls are separated and defined and the hair feels soft and bouncy. So just the way I like it. And now we're moving on to the right side and we're going to do the exact same thing. So one really important thing to note about this hair is that the packaging actually does come with a closure piece. It's a small, very short, single parting piece and in my opinion it was very cheap looking and I did not like it. So my hairdresser decided to cut it up in a few different small pieces and use it like an invisible part. I did end up, I feel like, having a bit of an allergic reaction to the lace because it's very rough. So since this video we have actually crocheted the part of my hair so it looks a little bit different now than it did in this video but I just wanted to let you guys know that so that you can be aware. So I try to focus the Shea Moisture Cream on the ends of the hair because that's the part with synthetic hair that gets the most dry looking, tangled and kind of just ratty and and matted together and like stiff <laughs> so that's what I hate it's my pet peeve so I try and focus the um, moisturizing cream or lotion whatever you use um, at the ends and try and keep that curl at the bottom Okay guys, so now we just have some finishing touches. The olive oil edge control I will be using on my edges and that's just to finish things off at the front and the sides and make sure that when the wind blows through your hair, your natural edges that are showing are nice and sleek down and neat looking. And last but not least, we have our mousse. And this is by The Do, I think is how you pronounce it. And it is a non-alcohol um, based mousse. So you have to make sure you get a mousse that does not have alcohol in it. My hairdresser just taught me this because alcohol will dry out the hair even more. And with it being synthetic, you guys know we can't have anything else drying out this hair any more than it already is. So I just put a little bit of this mousse on my fingertips and I run it through kind of just the top layer of the hair and maybe a bit um, at the ends and it adds even more shine and kind of like a little bit of a hold as well so and this one in particular the dew smells so 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 good so definitely get that because I love it You guys enjoyed that demonstration and if you're looking for some reasonably priced hair definitely try this hair out um will i do will i use it again i'm not too sure that i will um we'll see i'll see how long this lasts because like i said it's only been two weeks i'm gonna try and stretch it for a month maybe a 
six weeks would be great. I typically keep a human hair weave in for two months, maybe even two and a half months, and I'm able to wash my hair several times while I have that in. This is a little bit different, um, but I will tr still explore some more wallet friendly alternatives, and I'll definitely be sure to share those with you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to click that subscribe button if you are not subscribed, hit the thumbs up button if you like it, and I'll see you next Monday with another video. Bye guys.